this is the first uh, topic to this training Vitacon Web Trainings and Empowerment Program. Uh, and the title of the course is Complete WordPress Course for Ab Absolute Beginner. You will learn basic step by step guides required to start building beautiful websites with WordPress. Then the there are contents listed here. Uh, these are the lessons we are going to cover under this module. And don't forget that we are treating the first module of the course. Uh, the first one is the introduction to the, to the course. And the second one is domain name and registration. How to get your domain name, know much about domain name and how to register it. Um, web hosting, how to, you need to know about web hosting and how to host your website and how to know the right web hosting company then domain component creation creating a domain structures there are domain structure then the uh, the part b of the number five is how to install your wordpress uh, using subtaculous there is a software known uh, called subtaculous how you to uh, uh, to install your website through it then multi-sites this is creating a domain structure for your website and WordPress setting. There are there are some necessary settings you need to know. The seventh one is cPanels and settings. There are a lot of settings regarding the usage or uh, usabilities of control panel. Then taxonomy, tech, uh, comments, tags, and category are called taxonomy the number nine is about to customize wordpress team and 10 is building websites with more features there are other features you need to learn and know to create a professional website then how to rank up your websites on google and other social media this is known as uh, social media op optimization that is x x e o s e o so you need to learn this also then second to the last is how to make money with your wordpress website you don't just learn how to develop a website you must learn also how to make money with it and finally in, on in this page come there are common errors how to know them to recognize them and how to fix it without wasting time the other thing here is uh that we start with is the meaning of wordpress what is the meaning of WordPress? WordPress is just uh, is just too simple, which is content management system. C stands for content, M stands for management, while X stands for system. Then it was uh, first created in 2003 by Matt Mulegwit and Mike Little. They created it uh, as an open source software. That is. It is open for everyone to use. You can come and contribute your own quota. Uh, you that you are still learning it today can still have your own contribution to it. So it is free. Uh, it is free on the internet. And at the same time, originally it was created to for designing blogs. To design blog. And but now it is now suitable for all category of websites. You can use it to develop any website anyway anyhow and you must know that wordpress power uh 48 percent of all sites on the internet uh, presently and uh most of those websites you used to see on the internet who are powered with uh, uh with wordpress and uh you need to know that you can create business website with it online portfolio with it e-commerce website with it in fact, I have used WordPress to design uh, a, a token, uh, a tokenized uh, website that is cryptocurrency token. So, and it is highly beautiful, highly beautiful. Other things about this is that there are two categories of WordPress. Two categories of WordPress. We have WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.com is a site builder. It's owned by a uh, company called Bluehost, they are hosting company. Uh, it's a site builder, you can use it to, to, to design your website. Then WordPress.org WordPress 
It's a self-hosted uh, WordPress and software you can download and use to create your site. Yes, which will require hosting. So since WordPress.org is a more flexible and powerful platform, so I will be focusing on this uh, throughout the rest of the training. So we are not focusing on uh, WordPress.com. WordPress.com, let me uh, let me teach you a little about it. It's just a free uh, WordPress uh, website development um, platform. So whenever you create a website with it, so your website will now be your domain dot wordpress.com so it shows that you don't have complete authority over it they will only give you subdomain subdomain of it so you can't control it you can't install you can't customize it to your taste you can't install some additional uh, uh software or so-called plugin on it so before you can achieve that you need to purchase a hosting plan which is wordpress.org there are some benefits of building website with WordPress. So, so it is essential to know that the that uh, be it the e-commerce business or service-based based, uh, site, creating a website from the scratch requires good time and money investment. You need to know this because if you want to create a website with uh, with coding or you want to learn programming, you know how, how long it will cost you. Then, if you want to create a business uh, with coding, a website uh, for your business using coding, you know how much it will also cost you. But when you use uh, WordPress, so uh, it is a very easy, very easy task and very easy to achieve. So it will save you a lot of a uh, lot of money. Yes, it will save you a lot of money. You don't need knowledge of coding. You don't need programming knowledge before you can start developing websites with, uh, with WordPress and a beautiful and professional website indeed. Though it was originally created to, develop, to design a blog. A blog is where you send information, just send information outside there for people to, to read. That was then. But now you can develop a lot of websites, sort of category, different category of websites using WordPress. So you need to know that WordPress runs at least 42% of the entire internet and presently half more than 19.5 uh, million websites using WordPress currently running on the uh, internet. Now there are uh, not less than uh, 16 benefits I, I highlighted here. For your business, if you want to be using WordPress to design a website, the first of it is that it is a vibrant marketplace for any business. A very vibrant marketplace for for your for your business. That is a marketplace is where uh, is where vendor A, vendor B, vendor C, vendor seven up to unlimited comes together to to sell out and um and buy two is proper usage of seo search engine optimization seo means search engine optimization so your, your google is a search engine uh yahoo is a search engine um uh, uh yahoo yes yahoo is a search engine bing is a search engine ask is a search engine so and all these things come along with your WordPress uh, platform. The third one is user-friendly uh, development uh, environment. It is user-friendly, uh, very user-friendly when you are developing your website, a website with WordPress, it, it is like you are doing some fun. So it is not difficult to achieve at all. The fourth one is uh, it's most secure platform. It is highly secure. There are a lot of security come along with it. So with all this security, you should be able to secure your website without the activities of ACA venturing into your website. Then it's, it supports teamwork. By the time you start or you log in into your admin dashboard, you will see some arrangement or structure, uh, user role structure there. There you find admin, you, you find editor, you find author, you find subscriber, you find customers, and all and more and more and more and more. And individual of them can be browsing the website without a bit in a different compartment without colliding with one another. Then the sixth one is the scalability benefit of the. Uh, well, WordPress it is scalable then it is economy and it is the security is taken seriously on WordPress 
highly secured work, uh, website then it is beginner friendly and easy to learn beginner friendly you know this is exactly what i'm teaching you now in fact i can uh, beat my chest to let you know that you can learn wordpress without anybody uh any instructor teaching you you can start from the scratch then you understand it and become a professional then the next one is customization is very easier you customize your team or customize your website uh, all those things you know you learn you get to know how to achieve them in a very uh smart way then built-in blog capacity nearly all wordpress team uh, come along with inbuilt blog capacity that is you know your website either business website or e-commerce website or whatsoever you need to release some press you so-called press release so with the capabilities of the inbuilt blog then there is no there is no reason for you struggling here and there before you can achieve it then it is reliable very very reliable to use it is mobile friendly mobile friendly in the sense that uh, when you develop a website with WordPress, then you, you can easily as you can easily access it with uh, with computer. You can access it with tablet. You can access it with uh, with mobile phone. This unlike some site builder that by the time you are trying to access them on phone, you will be dragging them here and there before you can see all the content on it. Then hood communities of developer there are hood community of developer many people are developing plugins or so-called softwares on it of which you can use freely to develop your website or if you even have a problem on it there are lots of people you can contact to solve your problem then monetization monetizing your website is very simple you can monetize it you can generate income google you can generate uh, ad network on it you can turn into affiliate marketing you can you refer everything everything is simple on tools to achieve those things are much available on the platform second to the last year is extend up uh, extend up using team and uh, and plugins there are two things there we have the team we have the plugins then these plugins are very very important just like the tools you used to use in your in your in your home then the team is like the the outside part of the building that make it look attractive and uh, and attract people to to you so all this you can find free team premium team and free plugins premium plugin in the wordpress repository uh, platform finally here it is uh, free and open source so wordpress is free you don't need to purchase it because i know some of you may be thinking that i would like to get it how much will it be selling it no it is a free software you download and install it on your website just like you download a mobile application on google play store to your android phone and you start use configuring it and you start using it immediately wordpress is like uh, an android platform that you download a uh, mobile applications on google play store and you start configuring it the same way uh, is the WordPress. WordPress is like WordPress is like uh, is a platform just like Android phone. The same way, uh, this one is also a web platform that you install some software upon and then you configure it and you start using it. Now I will teach you because it is not good enough to tell you all the benefits and without telling you the uh, the pros and cons. Pros and cons. The, okay, let's check the pros now. WordPress is incredibly easy to set up and get running with little to no technical knowledge. Most web hosts will do it for you since it is easy. Just like what I said, it is very easy. Some hosting company will just install it for you. You don't need to stretch yourself. And if you learn how to do it through Subtaculous, then you get it all. The second one here is that there are thousands of tips available for free i've told you that one first then for low cost very low cost teams plugins and that will enhance the, the the beauty of your website and lastly on the pro is that the communities behind it are very generous so there are loads of educational opportunity both online and in person to learn and connect with other users just like what i'm doing for you now so i'm trying to teach you here how to use it how to set up set it up how to design it so many others like that are, are up there on the internet and in person in person learning let's go and check the cons now the first one is that 
uh, since some big companies or good companies we sometimes uh, think that since the WordPress is easy easily achieved in developing websites they may not want to go for it they may want to choose uh, coding instead of that meanwhile the same thing you will develop with coding is also the same thing you develop with WordPress and the second one is that uh, there are ecosystem of plugins very large uh, plugin ecosystem so it is not it is uncommon to run into plugin conflicts you can install as many plugin as possible you can have a website that run not, not less than 100 plugins so with these there are a lot of the, you 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 cannot deny running into conflict sometimes because this uh, these are uh, uh, plugins they want to conflict one another then you try you start troubleshooting that is one of the problem it's not a problem at all you troubleshoot it and you get over it and lastly here there are some uh, fairly basic uh, CMS uh, compatibility that WordPress cannot perform out of the box. Yes, most some there are some uh, there are not many anyway. But uh, if you want to perform all these uh, functions, you need to install some additional plugins to achieve them. And at the same time, uh, I will tell you that possibly you may not be able to achieve developing a blockchain with world. Press. So you need to know all this uh, before you start. Finally, this is the last one for this lesson. So basic component of our workspace of WordPress. We have three work uh, space. The first one is known by uh, as cPanel. Second one is dashboard, and the third one is customizer. The cPanel is user friendly dashboard. Most web hosts provide to make it easy for their users to manage their web hosting accounts. So using cPanel for WordPress hosting, site owners can manage their WordPress website, email accounts, domain names, uh, database connections, ECT, uh, ETC, so without any sort of technical knowledge. So without this, you will have, you will have been going for uh, training on management of website. But the cPanel will help you. It's just a dashboard. I will show you in the next in the next video. The dashboard is uh, is your admin. It's where you cook the food that the end user will be seen uh, will be eating over there. I mean that web web development or using with uh, with WordPress is like a restaurant. There is a uh, a a component where the food is being cooked. Then after cooking the food, they brought the food to to a safe place where the food will be arranged and finally serve to the to the customer waiting in the rest in the rest room so that is it from the c panel you cook your food then you bring it to the dashboard where you arrange the food and send it to the end user so called front end then uh, part of the dashboard is customizer, so you customize the appearance of your team there, and so, more, so many arrangements you find or design you find within the customizer. I will show you all this in the next video. Thank you.